we don't have problems with this particular video. I don't have time to take my time. I'm in a rush because I have things to do. I had to make sure that it was recording my audio. That's why I did this. Ladies and gentlemen, we have something that we do need to show you. Now, I'm going to let you know the information that is coming in a couple of weeks. Can't talk about it now. It'll probably be two weeks before I can do it because I made a promise to someone. I'm just going to show you a little tit for tat. This this just a little showing, okay? Just a little showing. See that right there, Johnson & Johnson? Okay, in this case, the court recognized the legality of utilizing a promissory note to satisfy debt obligations. We're going to be talking about that. But guess what? Hold on now. Hold on. Let me tell y'all something so y'all get it. We ain't going to be talking about it now. We got something else to talk about. So, I want y'all to hold on for a second because I, I said hold on. I got something I want to show y'all because y'all need to see this. Chapter 11, people. Be prepared for this information because you're going to need to know it. Uh, Tex Mason said to share this with you all because he says that you all are not going to know this and you're going to go into bankruptcy chapter 11 and they're going to throw some boomerangs, some surprises at you. Now, he didn't actually say this, but when he sent the information to me, I knew that that's what he was trying to say because he knows that I don't have time to research the information for you. So Tex Mason has done it for you. So give me a second while I share with you what he shared with me. You guys don't mind? <laughs> Hold on a second. I'll be right back. Okay, first of all, I'm doing two different computers working on both at the same time. So you'll have to pardon me. Even though it won't be taking any time on your end, it'll be taking time on my end. Notice this is 10.08. It's been about 15 minutes since I put you guys on pause. So not going to lose track. Just need to keep you guys informed. It's better to be informed than ill-informed, don't you think? All right, first we need to talk about something. There's a situation happening over in the Middle East. I want you guys to pay attention to this area right here. This is a military base. Now, we're just going to watch it for a couple of seconds, okay, because there, there's some protection going on over there. So watch and see what, what's going on. Uh-oh. Oh, snap. Oh, Lord. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. A pair. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, my stars. Yep. Apparently, the Iron Dome isn't so iron. I'm going to get in a lot of trouble for that one. 99% of the. Rockets launched were knocked down. Well, apparently somebody hacked. That's right. I want you to pay attention. Hacked the so-called Iron Dome system. And they did nothing about it. And so that was a military base in a place called Israel that was bombed. But you're not going to see that on main time news. Because they are not allowed to report on the happenings over in Israel. Because that's anti-Semitism. And you know, you cannot say anything against Israel without being called an anti-Semite. You can't protest on college campuses. Because you protest on college campuses, you're an anti-Semite. Nobody even understands how offensive the word anti-Semite is. Go ahead, look up the definition for the word anti-Semite. That's one of those catch-all phrases. That's the algorithm that Google has set up that will log in and hone in on the word anti-Semite. There is censorship going on in this world. The news media is allowed to call someone an anti-Semite, but a person like me cannot use the word anti-Semite without being criticized. Why? I haven't said anything about anybody. I haven't talked negatively about anybody. I haven't said anything negatively about the land of Israel. Matter of fact, I've met quite a few individuals who are of the Jewish faith. I don't have a single problem with a single one of them. Do I think that they're 
a part of a cabal? No. Do I think that they're trying to rule the If I rule the world? No. So why is it that just because you say something about the way the government of Israel is being run, you're an anti-Semite? That you hate all Jews? You know, individuals, because they want to get more views, they will not use certain words. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not trying to get views. All I'm doing is having a discussion, and I wanted to show that to you because I want to let you know the times that we're living in. That's only going to lead to something none of us are ready for. I promise you, none of us are ready for what's about to happen. So I got to get you this information, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the information I want to tell you from the information I'm going to show you. So y'all bear with me for just a second because I, I got to do this, okay? I got to do this. I'm going to end this video and we're going to start the video talking about the subject we need to talk about. Be right back.